this clip, I'd like to show you what I think is a very simple way to solve almost any kind of satellite problem. Uh, let's begin by just reviewing uh, what happens with a satellite going around the Earth. My pen is the satellite. The satellite wants to go off in a straight line according to Newton's first law, but it's pulled down to the Earth by gravity. It wants to go off in a straight line, but pulled back down by gravity. Again, off in a straight line, but pulled down by gravity. And this continues, and it makes a circular orbit. Let's use what we know about circular motion to analyze this. If something's moving in a circle, the net inward force is mv squared over r. We also know that this can be rewritten in terms of the period. And so we can write m, and now notice m is the satellite always, 4 pi squared r over t squared. Now next we ask, what is causing the inward force? The answer, the gravitational force. And it's g m m over r squared. Now we read the problem, and according to what the problem asks, we can set any one of these equal to the other. Now for example, we can take the first item here and set it equal to the second. We can take the first and set it equal to the third. We can set the second to the third. Now if the question asks or gives us the period, uh, we will use the third formula here. If they give us or ask for the orbital speed, we'll use the second formula. Now one thing that's very important to note, the r in these equations refers to the total distance between the centers. Now one more very useful fact. Sometimes we may be given the gravitational field strength or the acceleration at a point above the Earth. In that case we can add to our equation mg. Uh, m the mass of the satellite and g the acceleration at that height and I'm calling it g prime. It's very important now for you to practice writing out this satellite equation, this formula. You won't be given the entire formula like this equals this equals this, but you're given each one of the portions. Uh, you will know the gravitational formula. You know and will be given the mv squared over r. You have to know to equate those two. You'll be given the m4 pi squared r over t squared, and you need to know to add that into the sequence, and also the mg. So memorize it. Practice writing it out. It will help you memorize any kind of a satellite question, or pretty much so. In the next segment, what we'll do is we'll give uh, several practice problems, but we won't actually solve the problem. We will say, let's look at how to set up this equation so that very quickly you'd be able to read a problem, know exactly how to set up the equations, and then uh, it's up to you then to solve them. So practice it, learn it, rehearse it until you know it very well.